So today I'm going to be going over like custom time cycles for your interiors or just in general. Um, for this we're going to be using 5M's FXDK uh, time cycle tool. So first what I recommend doing is if you have reshade, remove it just for now because it fucks with the menu a little bit. So you can just remove the dxgi.dll or whatever. So with that being said, to find the tool, what you need to do is uh, you can, if you have like a 5M shortcut on your desktop, just go to right click it, open, to, uh, open file location, and you'll end up here and you'll see this CFX development kit. This is what we want. So just go ahead and open this. Okay. Now once you have this opened, go ahead and create a new project. Just name it whatever. Then we're just going to select a path. Doesn't really matter where. And then, uh, basically, what this is, it's basically like a localhost server, but it's like got Visual Studio like built in and shit. You can add resources and sh like hot reload stuff and whatnot. It's useful, but in practical use, it's not that useful to be honest. Okay, so now once you have this loaded. What you're going to want to do is just go ahead up here where it says start server. Just click this and then just wait for it to load. If you want to test on your like your actual interior so you like get it most accurate. What you can do is on the left here go to new resource and then you just click no template and then just drag in the resource. And it should be in the directory where you put the project. So now that once you have the, the game loaded. Just go to the bottom here and drag it up so you have these uh, consoles. Then on the left one, type in time cycle editor, no space, and then one. And it'll open up the time cycle window. Try to make this a bit smaller. Now, now that we have this opened, what you can do is, uh, what I usually do is just click apply selected. Then you can obviously go through the existing ones, but what we're going to be doing is making a custom one. So what we're going to do is search. Uh, we're just going to search for Franklin's. And here you can see the modifiers for the time cycle. So for example, if we like this one, what we can do here, I believe we can copy it or clone. Yes, this here. I think if you clone this, or maybe if we rename this. Um, I mean, clone. Yeah, there. Then what we can do is just go ahead and search. And now you can start adding and removing variables as you like and tweaking it. So let's say, for example, you want to um, like change the lighting. What you can search here in the uh, variables, search ambient or. I think it's artificial. Yeah. And then you just click add. Then you can play with these intensity values and whatnot. Obviously a lot of this is just playing around until you find something that you like. See this one for example makes it really bright. There's a lot of different variables that you can test with. There's no like right answer really so I'm not going to tell you how to make your time cycle but this is more just so how to use the tool. So let's say we wanted to make it a bit darker and then we can also I think it's satch no oh uh, yeah we can desaturate it. See here this is desaturating you know so make it more saturated. Then let's say you like this one. This is the one you want to use for your interior. What you're going to do is go to up here to generate XML. And then you're just going to copy this. And then for example, if you have your resource, where is it? You'll have your time cycle like XML here. It doesn't generate it like fully correct, I don't think. It's missing the encoding or whatever. So let's say for example, this is empty. Uh, for example, this is empty. What am I doing? 
paste it in like that and just like that it should be good and then in your y type for the room you'll use this name here as the time cycle name and make sure it's all lowercase when you put it in the y type that's really it but uh also one more thing if let's say for example you want to change the time uh what i would recommend doing is using v menu so here i've got my like normal localhost server set up i'm just going to copy or first i'm going to make a new resource call this v menu click the no template then create then i'm just going to copy the v menu folder actually i'm going to copy everything in the v menu folder then go to my drive that i saved it at i think it should be here yeah and then just go ahead and replace all and i think you might have to restart the the server or whatever and you can change the time to play with your time cycle and whatnot makes it so you can test all different i guess variables for your time cycle i guess that's it so um i guess if you have any more suggestions for future videos just leave them in the comments and uh yeah